Welcome back. Today, we're probably going to do an unplanned video. I'm not even too sure if I'm gonna get a video out of this. I'm just passing by, and there's a little dam in here that I haven't been to in years, so I thought I'd just pop in and have a look. I haven't even been down there yet, so we'll go down together and have a look. The only problem is I didn't bring any bait, so I'll have to have a hunt through the car or a hunt around here somewhere and see if I can find something to throw in the traps to have a, have a bit of bait. So this is a little dam. I come here years ago. Um, I know there used to be yabbies in here and it actually looks not too bad. Uh, we are on the side of the highway. The highway is just up through here. I'm traveling through. I didn't plan this. I was sort of just coming past and I thought, oh, I'll pull in there and have a look. Um, I do have all the traps and everything in the car because they live in there. And it actually looks pretty good, apart from all the trash laying around. I'll have a look in the car and see whether we've got any scraps of anything laying around that I can throw in the trap. Or I'll have a look around here and uh, maybe just try some... Throw anything in there. I'm sure yabbies ain't fussy, so even some grass and that may do. The only thing that I could find in the car to use for bait is an old crusty Vegemite sandwich. And I reckon it might go all right. Um, I was gonna thinking about picking a bit of this cactus and a bit of grass and throwing in there, but good old Vegemite sandwich. I don't know anything that doesn't like that. So here we go, the old Vegemite Sanger. <laughs> we'll just check the depth here. If I'm not happy with it, we might just work around the dam and oh, I reckon that's enough. I've caught plenty of yabbies with the trap like that before and sometimes I nearly reckon that might be better because it makes it harder for them to get out they tend not to like to come right near the surface like that but if I was a yabby that's probably where I'd be hanging out up underneath these tires and stuff I'll have at least two and a half or three hours before I'm coming back through here so that'll have a good soak and we'll see if there's any yabbies in here and if they like Vegemite Sangers We've decided to pull in down the river, have a bit of a look, and it actually looks all right. So we've decided we're gonna pull up and have a fish. Uh, we've got about 10 little yabbies there that we got on the last video. And um, there's a handful of worms, European night crawlers. And it looks pretty snaggy. We've got Eileen out here, she's got a worm on. And Josie's got a little yabby. So we've got a little bit of variety out there for them. It's not very deep. Um, we threw the line out and it's only going out to here. I did throw it out in the middle and got snagged up straight away. Oh, Eileen was just onto a fish straight up then and took your bait, did it? Took my bait. Oh, beauty. Well, that's a good start. And I'm just looking at Josie's rod. I think you're getting a bit of a bite there, Josie. Just reel it very slowly and take the tension up. Well, that's a good sign. Bite straight up. I'll get Eileen baited back up. Hopefully we can't jag a yellow belly or a cod. Oh, you got him this time. She's hooked up a couple of times on something. What is it? Carp. Carpio number one. Throw him right up here. To start. Save the warm. <laughs> you got him. You got him. You sure? Yeah. Bring him in. It's not a carp. Oh, this is a yellow belly. Can, can we yeah. Well, there you go. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> We've got to. Ought to be close. You didn't oh. believe me. I don't know. Is that a yellow belly no, or it's silver? Not. It's a silver perch. It's silver. Yeah. Wait, do they get in these parts? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So how, well, there you go. how long did you want the perch? Little silver perch. I'm going to have to look them up. I'm not even too sure how big they've got to be to keep. But he has swallowed the hook. Oh. Um, we'll just sit him in the water and I'll have a quick look on my phone. So Eileen got a little silver perch. I just had a look online and I'm pretty sure we're only allowed to keep them out of dams. We don't get a lot around here. He did swallow the hook, but it's only just here in the back of his mouth. 
and it's only a small hook. So I've just cut the line and we'll get him back in the water. Bye -bye. And hopefully we can get the yellow variety. Huh. Well, that looked like an all right bite. Well, they're on the bite anyway. I've decided we're going to put a worm on Josie's rod as well. Because Eileen's just getting bite after bite out here. And nothing's touching the yabby. He's coming back, is he? Yeah. Oh, you got him. That's a small one. Oh, it's only a small one. That's a silver. Another little silver. Whatever she had just before this was, was big. And that's another little silver perch. You've got a bite, Josie. He's, he's oh. got a bite. <laughs> They're definitely on the bite. Whatever she had hooked up just before this one was it's a bloody bite. big fish. And I doubt whether it was a silver perch because they don't get that big. But we'll get this little silver fella straight back. I think they're talking about bait because it's bend over like that. Yeah, I'll just leave it for a minute. I'm glad we decided to pull in out here. Um, there is another place just back down further where we can stop. It's way too snaggy here to get the boat in, but I'm nearly thinking it um, wouldn't be a bad spot to bring the kayak. And it's surprising to see all the silver perch out here. I um, haven't really heard of many silver perch being caught out here at all. But as you can see, there's that much um, debris in the river. You'd never get a boat in here, but I would get the kayak in. It might be worth throwing the kayak in one day and bringing it out. Oh, you're on again. Oh, spit it out. Oh, you scared the fish. Eileen's on the hot spot here. Hopefully there's a yellow belly in amongst them. Next thing you know, you hook up on a big fish. Oh, it wasn't a spider, was it? It was a bug. A spider was walking like a spider with a white bum. Yeah, well, don't touch it. She said there was a tail, a spider there with a white tail. And they're the ones you shouldn't touch. White tip spider. I feel like it went in a hole. They can bite you. White tail. Oh, Josie just got a good bite. You missed it, Jose. Hey, you'll come back. Just be distracted, ya. Yeah. Hey. The first bite Josie's had all day. He'll come back. I think he's on there, Josie. Pull back. Pull back. You got him. Oh, yes, Josie's on to a good one. That's a carp. <laughs> I've seen that. I could see that was a carp. Bring it right straight up, Josie. That big one that um, Eileen had definitely wasn't a carp. And I was just over there um, shaking hands with the unemployed. <laughs> and Eileen's got another silver perch and it does look like a, a different one because it's just a little bit bigger than the last one No, it's small No, it's a bit bigger. That last one was smaller And it's got a big red spot on its back, which it's definitely a different one I'll get him unhooked and get him back okay. Here he goes Go, Josie yeah, 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 you got him Oh, Josie got one. I got one. Oh, you got one too. Oh, oh, yours is a carp. Freaking little thing. I've seen yours. Yeah, no, I spit it up though. Another little silver perch. <laughs> they shouldn't be protected now. Can you let it go? He was only just hooked too. I'm pretty sure they're all different ones. That's definitely a different one to the last one. Ready? Here he goes. Go, Jase. Go. It's not on there. I think it is. It's biting at it. Go. You got him. Oh, that's a bit bigger. That's definitely a bit bigger. Bring it in, Jase. Oh, it's carp anyway. You took my thing. It's only a carp. Bring it up. <laughs> that's definitely a bit bigger, but it's the wrong type. Bring him up. That's the way. There's a bit of a fight there, Joes. Hey? Hey, 
Oh! What the <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't letting him get away. Another little silver perch. That was funny. <laughs> Poor little thing. It's good to see the little silver perch doing well. That's a cod, I think. How big is, is my it? GoPro going? <laughs> I think I just turned my GoPro off too, did I? Oh no, it's a big carp. Oh, yeah, it's going. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> is it on your shore? I'd only just put a yabby on there. I thought if something um, has a go, it's going to be something decent. And it's a dirty big carp. I thought I was onto a cod then. Yeah, Little bugger. He's a book. He's a good one, though. <laughs> Can we eat it? No, I'm not eating that thing. Oh, I thought I was onto a good cod then. I could see the way the way it was taking the um, bait. It was different to those little silver perch. It's been about three and a half hours, and I'm calling it a good day, but most people call it a terrible day. It's overcast. It's come through and showered. But it's not hot. It's not bloody 40 degrees. The humidity's starting to climb up a bit now. We'll give this trap a check and see how it went. And we can't say that it didn't have a decent soak or a good chance. Oh, yes. Bloody hell. You beauty. I should have put a few traps in here. Look at this. They're falling out. Falling out everywhere. I must have a hole in my net. I do. Little buggers have chewed a hole in here. I'll have to get that fixed. You little ripper. Have a go at that for a load. And it's a real mixed bag too. We've got a few big fellas. What have we got there? At least three or four really good yabbies. We'll get a couple of them out and have a quick look. Look at that. Absolute ripper. Not too bad either. I'll get a bit of water into this esky. I don't mind these really sandy um, sort of dams because normally the yabbies would be nice and clean. Which these ones are. Let's pick one of the bigger fellas out and have a look. Have a go at that. Nice big rusty fella. He's going to be full of meat for sure. And there's not much left of the old Sanger. They must have liked it. <laughs> I'd say it, I'm actually surprised it's lasted as long as it ha has done in there. It'll go real soft and break up. And have a go at this. This is how they escape from these traps. That yabby there is climbing up out of the trap. So that's the reason why you should check these traps reasonably often look he's just about out we might even just watch him here and see if he climbs out himself or he falls back in and i think in the water he's going to have a lot easier job than out on the bank here look at him go oh no nah, there he goes i think if that was under the water he would have got out of there quite easily that sun's come out and it's starting to get a bit hot now it's uh, well and truly middle of the day one thing i have noticed i was just checking all these for eggs and i'll have to go back through and check the videos but i'm pretty sure this year i've ne i haven't seen a single yabby with eggs and i know a lot of places are actually finding it hard to um, actually get yabbies after last year it was just you could throw a trap in a puddle anywhere and you'd get a bucket full of yabbies. Uh, this year it's a bit harder. They haven't seemed to come out like they normally do. And we have been getting, it's not like it's really drought conditions. We have been getting a bit of rain and they don't seem to be breeding. They must just have had a big year last year breeding. Uh, like I said, not a single yabby all season with eggs, which is a bit strange. Look at this, another escape artist. And we ended up with about 30 yabbies out of there, which is not too bad, I reckon, for a Vegemite Sanger. I'd um, convert a good old 
crusty Vegemite Sanger into 30 yabbies any day. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix this trap though, look at this. There you go, you can escape out of there if you like. You're going to find yourself straight in my bucket. <laughs> look at him. There he goes. There are a few in here that are a little bit small uh, for eating, but as you've seen the other day, you can <laughs> definitely eat them. Surprising the meat you get off them, but um, as you've seen, I'm out of bait yabbies now because we used them all the other day and I want to keep a few for bait, so worked out absolutely perfect. We might as well just tip them out. I'll go a bit slow, won't tip them all out at once. They don't even want to come out. I think he's definitely a goer. And I'm, the ones that I'm going to eat, I've just tipped into a bucket of really clean um, rainwater. Just to rinse them off, really. He's just a bit too big for bait. I'll get rid of this grass. There is a little bait yeah, beyond there. He's let go. I'll get these bigger ones out of here. Oh, look at that. Nice. He is a nice one, that one. That must have been the one I was looking at. Absolute rippers. Put them all in there. Anything that's too big for bait. There's actually more bait yabbies than what I expected. There's 15 bait yabbies. And would be about nearly equal parts eating yabbies. Our big ones are flushed out. I'll put them in the freezer to cool down. I'll put them to sleep while the water's boiling. I won't go over this part of the video in great detail, but basically all we're going to do is blanch these yabbies for probably three or four minutes in boiling water. Uh, if you've seen any of my old videos, you've seen it a million times, so I won't waste too much time. And all that does is make it easy for, them, for me to peel them. And they're just about done. Island does have something special lined up for these yabbies and it's obviously not a massive big feed. We only had one trap in and out of a Vegemite sandwich. But basically she said just to sear them off like we normally do. So put them on there. And I'm just going to go very light with the seasoning today. Just a tiny bit of seasoning really hot cast iron and I'm just going to toss them around in there for probably another three or four minutes I reckon we're back in the kitchen we've finally got everything organized we've got our little tiny bowl of yabbies there but it wasn't too bad just for one trap and a trial we're going to be making something a little bit more extreme today than just seared yabby tails what are we making? What's it called? Um, Kinilo. Yabby Kinilo. Yeah. What we're going to need, I'll just have a quick run through of the ingredients while the boss here, the master chef, starts preparing. Start preparing whatever you got to do. Um, and it's going to be more vegetable than Yabby Tail, but we're on a bit of a health bend, not. Um, it'd be a little bit healthy, but I'll deal with that later. I'll just pick all the abbeys out and let her have vegetables. <laughs> Look. So what we've got, I'll have a quick run through of the ingredients, um, tell you what we've got, and then we'll see what we're going to do with it. We have homegrown cucumbers, and they're little odd shaped cucumbers, um, perfect for this. We have bell pepper that's actually a homegrown bell pepper uh, as you can see we have what's that spring onion spring onion again homegrown spring onion this must be what's in the shop yeah we bought that that's just a little red onion had to buy that one and we bought the chili so it's not completely homegrown but close to it and kilowin seed and calamine C, which I'll have to go and get. We've got calamine C on the tree, which we haven't got yet. Uh, we do have a little lime, which we bought that lime. And we have a couple of different types of vinegar. Um, just whatever vinegar you like. 
And this is a rough translation of this, this dish. It can be done a million different ways, so it's just what how we're going to do it today with what we got. We have Vinegars. yeah a couple of different types of vinegar. I bought this because I was going to do some pickled yabbies. Now that I've opened it, I'll, I reckon next week we'll go and get some yabbies to pickle. We've got the good old sabor seasoning. Uh, every Filipino will know exactly what that is. Salt, pepper. And in this bag, we've got a secret ingredient. <laughs> if you want to find out what it is, um, I'll leave me bank details in the comments. You just transfer me a hundred bucks and I'll tell you. <laughs> you forget the yabby. And obviously our yabbies, which have been um, seared, so they're already cooked. Okay, I'll start cutting them. So the boss is going to start cutting up and I'll shoot out and grab some calamine seed. And if you don't know what a calamine sea is, it's just basically a, a small lime type citrus. Um, I'll have a hunt through the tree. The tree's absolutely loaded. Uh, they're on here everywhere. I'll have a pick through and get her a few of the riper ones. No doubt I'll pick the wrong ones. We're getting there with the cutting up. Uh, we've got some cucumbers, the bell pepper and onion cut up. And she's up with the chilli, and she reckons that I won't eat any. Now here we go, a little bit of chilli, just to see how spicy it is. I'm probably going to need a beer after this. Mm. Mm. You have the seeds. That's not really spicy at all. I'm not going to eat the seeds, though. Yeah, no. Seeds. To be absolutely honest with you, that onion's more spicy. Do you want me to add one? You can if you want. Sure. Yeah, a little bit. And I'm thinking um, when it starts to cool down a little bit, what I want to do is try and do some paddock to plate videos. So if you're in the northern area of New South Wales or know someone that is that farms a particular product um, that's a little bit unusual, if you've got rabbits or um, anything that you can that someone grows. Um, they don't have to be commercial, it can be just someone at home that we can go have a look at that little operation, um, get a bit of produce off them, even vegetables. If you know someone that grows vegetables that we can go and have a look at their place, um, get a bit of produce and cook something special with it, leave a comment down below. Um, we're willing to travel, you know, within whatever, six, eight hours or whatever for a weekend. Um, just to showcase a bit of the local produce and do something a little bit different. I'm sort of thinking, um, I know someone here that has dorpers, so we'll do a dorper, catch and cook. Um, sure there'll be someone around with some goats and I know there's a, a beef place not too far away that grows their own beef, uh, has it slaughtered, packaged and sells at retail. So I think we'll go and check those guys out for sure because a nice bit of scotch fillet will go down well and we can do something a little bit different like a Filipino dish. So it looks like the Bosch is starting to get a bit organised here. What do we got? What so are we going to do? That's so it. So you put the, do you want to do the mixing? No, you can do it. Show us what you got. Yabbies. Oh, put the yabbies in first and I think what we would prefer is to have that bowl with a lot more yabbies in it. But as you've seen, to convert a crusty old Vegemite sandwich into this little dish here, I think we're gonna do all right. I wash my hands, by the way. Oh, the sure you do. I've seen you over there picking your nose. <laughs> Put your cucumbers mm -hmm. in. Extra flavor. Cucumbers, and I don't think it really matters which way you do it. Yeah. You can just scrape them all in there, which is what I would probably do. Cucumber skin. Mm. Your capsicum, just spread it around. Capsicum or bell pepper. I ha didn't actually have a taste of that, and that's fresh from the vine. When was that, this morning or yesterday? Yeah, this morning. This morning. With your red onion. Straight from the vine. He's a flavorful little bugger too. He's only a little one. 
With your chilies. Nice bit of chili. And I think we're gonna have to get a chili plant growing because those chilies didn't really have any spice or flavor at all. Yep. I like those little uh, bird's eyes chilies that bloody burn your mouth okay. out. So, mix it up. Grab your vinegar. And are we gonna measure anything or we just do it by eye? By eye. Yeah. However you like it. If you, yeah, just, there's probably two tablespoons. two tablespoons at the most. But we've got two different types of vinegar. This one here is a rice wine vinegar. And this one here is an aged balsamic vinegar. It's one teaspoon, I think, with that one. And yeah, just a very small amount of the balsamic. I actually like that balsamic. Um, it was on special. So I bought it, because I'm gonna do some yabby tails in that, because it's, it's actually a really nice vinegar. I done a pickled yabby tail, catch, clean and cook, ages ago. But I used a cheap vinegar and it wasn't the best. And someone commented saying to go and get a really nice vinegar that you like. And that is actually a nice vinegar. Salt and pepper. A bit of salt and pepper to taste. Yeah, it's a balsamic vinegar of Modena and it's aged in um, oak barrels. So almost like a fine whiskey. A little bit of cracked pepper. That's for last. Yeah, that's our secret ingredient. Like I said before, if you want to know what this secret ingredient is, you're going to have to pay us for it. <laughs> Savor, Maggie Savor. Bit of Savor. Is, is that original or? Calamon C. That's a Calamon C Savor. There is an original like one. And I don't think it really is going to make too much difference at all what flavor or if you put any. If you can't get some more, just a little couple of drops of um, good soy sauce. Um, nor seasoning. Or nor seasoning, but nor seasoning might be a bit hard to get too. Because you can't just buy it in the uh, Woolworths. That's Asian shop. Can you get that in Woolworths? I don't, uh, no. They have a different brand though. It's Maggie nor seasoning. Uh, no, Maggie seasoning. The oh, do they? Normally have in the fridge. Oh, yeah. Because I'm sick. And she's got a calamon seed there, and she's got a little wooden fork with slots in it to keep the seeds out. Because those little calamon seed, for the size of them, uh, they really pack a punch, but they do have a lot of seeds as well. Normally it's fork. But... Yeah, you can, those little lime things, it's not unusual to get a half a dozen seeds in it. And you don't like it too sour, hey? No. It's probably a little bit of lime. Yeah, I don't like it too sour, but... The whole idea of the dish is vinegar and lime juice, so you sort of got to sort of got to make it. And that little calamon C was full of juice. You see me pick it off the tree. This lime here probably doesn't even have as much juice as that calamon C. That's enough. We'll put a bit in there. I'll, I'll get it into us. Okay, and then. I need to wash my hands. So she's got to wash her hands again. I'll give you a bit of a look. Give you a bit of a look at it, see if you can see it from there. Hopefully you can. Mix it up. It's actually starting to look pretty bloody nice. Okay, next is our spring onion. So we've got the fresh spring onion straight from the garden. Um, just using a pair of scissors, snipping off really finely. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, and the secret recipe. So we're up to our secret ingredient. Um, I will tell you what it is, I was only um, pulling your leg. So anyone that didn't stick around this bar won't know. Give me a look at one. Um, can you take a guess what that is? You probably can't just by the look of it. It's actually just a pork rind, um, pig skin, which has been fried into to make it crispy. Chicharron. It's a chicharron. <laughs> and it's nice just to eat straight like that. A little bit salty. Just crunch. Just to add some crunch in there. And they, they basically act like a crouton. Yeah. Or craton or whatever you want to call it. Just give the salad a bit of crunch. Did you want more? And a bit of extra. 
Yeah. Um, texture. So that's how you convert an old crusty Vegemite sandwich that's been floating around in the back of the ute for probably three or four days. And one of the seagulls is out here. I'm going to have a taste test. Into a beautiful bowl of what's it called? Um, yabi kinilao. Yabi kinilao. Come on. We got Annika here. She's been come hanging on. out for a taste test. Okay, come on. You want to be quick, Annika, because I'm going to get that big yabby. I don't <laughs> even know how to use chopsticks, so I'll just poke it in there. Mm. Spicy. Sour. She's never tried kinilo before. It actually tastes really fresh, <laughs> which is probably no surprise. You want more? And I think I'm going to have to go and get a fork. Mm. Oh, well, I'll have that then if you don't want chopsticks. Huh? <laughs> you don't want chopsticks. I'll no. let you have a go. Like Annika's having some, actual. But it's embarrassing. <laughs> Those, um... <laughs> what? That chilli that we put in there was actually a really, really mild chilli. Like, mm. I nearly think that that um, onion <laughs> has more spice to it than the chilli itself. I can see Annika's fishing through there and getting all the big yabbies out. I'm going to have to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to try something. I want to just try and get just a little bit of everything on there. Okay, I'll put some. And a bit of the juice, if there's any juice. I want to get some of that. Some of the juice out of the bottom of that. Okay. Yeah. There's a bit too much onion on there just yet. One. Cucumber. Five. Chili. Where's um, my, um, what do you call this? Spring onion. Spring onion. More of spring onion. Um, a little, little bit of capsicum. And this. We need capsicum. Yeah, wait. Oh yeah, we've got a little bit of chicharron in there. I forgot, it. I, I forgot we had that in there. And capsicum. Capsicum. No and... yabby. <laughs> No yabby! They're hogging all the yabbies. And the yabby. There we go, and the yabby on top, that'll do. Okay. And that's what you call a good test of a spoonful. Mmm. Bit of the juice off the bottom. It's not spicy. Mmm. You like it? Mmm. It's for a freshening hand. It's... it's a really fresh dish. Um, there's not a lot of juice in the bottom. I'd probably nearly next time would have nearly go just a little bit more vinegar and okay. um, juice, basically. It's done. And maybe go a little bit more of the chicharron. I don't know where they're all hiding. Another nice spoonful. Mm. And it doesn't get much fresher than that. Yeah. I caught those yabbies this morning. Um, picked most of the vegetables this morning. Mm. And come home, chopped up. Spooned it up. Look, in it for lunch. In there. Oh, yeah, there's a heap of chicharron sitting down the bottom, hiding there. You should throw a yabby on for me. Vegetables. <laughs> She's loading me up with chili. <laughs> Don't you want the chili? I will eat some, but you know. Honestly, that chili is really mild. Oh, nice big yabby on top. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. It's yummy. Mmm. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, something different. I'm surprised she hasn't got rice with it, but it's not really a dish that you'd have rice with. I had rice at 11. It's more of a salad type thing. It'd be nice you know, with a bit of steak or something. Anyway, we'll leave this video here. Thanks for watching. Um, it's a bit of a spur of the moment type video. And like I said, if you know someone around the northern New South Wales area, <laughs> she's trying to shut me up. <laughs> with to grow some sort of produce, even just a home 
little home farmer that grows them for themselves like a rabbit or I really want to find someone with some rabbits, um, meat rabbits or, or anything basically, um, anything from a gerbil to a um, Angus bull. We'll go and give it a crack. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.